Welcome to this month's video. I hope this finds you all enjoying this spring-like weather. I want to start by taking a moment to mourn together the passing of Professor Emerita Mary Mendes, a giant in Leslie's history and in the field of childhood education. Over her 53 years at Leslie, Mary launched and ran the renowned Kindergarten Conference, helped to establish the Reggio Emilia Inspired Institute, and inspired countless students, colleagues, and friends. We plan to honor her fully during Alumni Weekend in June. One of the highlights for me this month was celebrating the first 14 Cambridge paraprofessionals who completed their master's degrees as a result of an innovative partnership between Leslie and the Cambridge Public Schools. This cohort is an example of the collaborations we're building to create more affordable pathways to diversify the ranks of the critical professions we educate students for and to put our EDIJ values into action. This month also saw us complete a series of listening sessions with our undergraduate, graduate, and threshold alumni. Not surprisingly, their journeys have been amazing, and we learned how they want to reconnect with Leslie's community, learn more about what's happening now at Leslie, and create a better pipeline to great jobs for current students and graduates. These findings and more will help shape an alumni-driven roadmap for our strategic framework implementation. To continue this work, we plan to host more focus groups in the spring. We're also planning a celebration of the launch of the fifth decade of Threshold on May 6th, and an alumni weekend that's chock full of opportunities for our graduates to experience Leslie through engaging with faculty, participating in alumni panel discussions, celebrating alumni journeys, and touring through our current strategic and campus plans. As you know, we launched the Better Leslie Initiative to implement the strategic framework and to address our current challenges of operating within our means. As a reminder, we have five work streams, enrollment, academic, non-academic, administrative, budget, and property. My thanks go to all of you as the collective genius of this community continues to push forward new and better ways of doing things. We're starting with guiding principles about how we want things to work and envisioning, prioritizing, and understanding the value of the changes necessary to meet those goals. Some examples of the ideas that are coming forward include using the cohort model for all students and alumni to strengthen learning, belonging, and experience all more cost-effectively. Have a similar green carpet experience for employees so that their journey with us is as strong. And make sure that everything at Leslie is readily understandable, from programs to the internal organization, so that resources and opportunities are clear inside the university and from the outside. These principles sound straightforward, and they are but will truly make a difference as we implement the strategic framework and beyond. The five groups will share their proposed high-level strategies by February 22nd, will bring a strategic outline to the March 1st board meeting, and will share our outcomes with the community in early March. Change is hard, but I believe it's necessary for Leslie to thrive moving forward. If we follow these high-level principles in the design of our offerings, Leslie will not only stand out in the marketplace, but be a better place to work, to learn, and to grow. As always, thank you for all you do in support of Leslie.